Disney's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today guys, I am going to be giving you my progress on the Coco Limited Time event. So, so far it has been going pretty well. We do have a lot of dialogue coming in this video. So yeah, you might want to grab some popcorn, a blanket, maybe put your feet up. Yeah, because it's going to be a long one. Now, we're going to start with some dialogue here from Mama Imelda. Ha! I knew it! All of our promotional flyers gone before we even had the chance to put them up. It's not enough for that swaggering oaf de la Cruz to ruin my family's good name. No, apparently he has to ruin posters too. You tell him, Mama Imelda. <laughs> he may have the musical talent of a hat rack with a face painted on it, but sabotage seems to be the one thing he is good at. Quest complete for the family. Well, I will not let him carry his scheme any further. The Rivera family honor is at stake. I just can hardly wait for the quest, I don't know, where she like takes one of her boots off and just starts whacking him with it. It has to come. There has to be some sort of quest like that coming in the future. I don't know. I hope so though. All right, more dialogue. Much as I would like to wipe that self-satisfied grin off De La Cruz's skull right this instant, my family comes first. And that means the tribute to the Rivera family comes first. I cannot let my husband's songs be silenced. Not again. He will play to an audience just as soon as I find him one. The world is listening. Dot, dot, dot. Build the land of the dead. Yay. Okay, so the only unfortunate thing at this point is Mama Email that needs to be at a level two. <laughs> All right. So um, at this point, waiting to collect those two character tokens. Um, but we will have that, uh, that level up and dialogue here in just a little bit. So don't forget, guys, Alice in Wonderland is exclusively in legendary chess until the remainder of the event. So another like just over a week, what is it, 12 days now? Um, so make sure that you guys, you know, if you want to do that extra storyline, you want to get some new characters into the kingdom, and you want to get some extra currency for the event, they are a great collection to add here in the kingdom. Now, speaking of great collections that have been added to my kingdom, we do have the bride, yes, from the Haunted Mansion. She is in my kingdom. She has been exclusively in the sapphire chess yeah i know they were super expensive and it was actually crazy i did spend 100 gems just once on the chest and i got her so i was so happy because usually i just totally gem waste and uh it drives me absolutely bonkers but i got her i'm so happy i got her because she is just the coolest she is so spooky she has like i mean she doesn't have a lot of dialogue yet but the dialogue that she has had has been kind of creepy and the voice that I've kind of given her, I've given her if you guys missed when I did get her, um, I kind of gave her like a twist of like moaning Myrtle's voice but with more of a, an evil, less dramatic twist. So she's, uh, yeah, she's, she's definitely interesting. Um, but yeah, because I don't really know what she sounds like. It's hard. But I was actually quite happy that I got to actually uh, give a character in the game like a voice that I didn't have some idea what they sounded like. It's usually pretty much everybody you know what they're going to sound like. So it was kind of nice to be able to actually make something up for a change. But anyways, let's kind of continue here um, with the gameplay. And then I do have some news, guys, uh, that I do want to update you about. Because obviously I'm assuming some of you guys at this point are like, uh, she needs to address the fact that she's not live streaming today. So I definitely am going to be doing that in a minute here. Um, I do also want to tell you guys that we will be seeing the bride's welcome screen. So if you guys haven't seen it yet because you missed my first uh, video with that, uh, don't worry, it's coming. I also did a stream and everything with it. So it's quite cool. Um, but this will be her third level up in the video, I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess it will be. So anyways... 
We have a lot of a lot of good stuff uh, here ahead. Now, Abulita is available today. So again, that is going to be a little bit later on, though, in the video. I kind of had to combine clips, guys. You know what? Let's let's just let's just address the elephant right now. That. Uh, that is clearly that is clearly happening. It is not cool, not cool. Um, let's just say that because I've been streaming a lot and more intense games lately with my newer channel, my computer can't really handle it, guys. This game is more of like a 30 frames per second type of game. I mean, you can see like sometimes maybe a little bit like it's not catching all the frames when I stream, but it's it's a slow like world builder game, so you don't really notice it. And if you do, you probably don't even think it's a big deal. Um, and I didn't really notice it until I started, like, I was checking back over some of my old content. I was like, oh, I guess I do see a little bit there. But the thing is, is, like, again, you won't notice it so much for this game. But for, like, a higher intensity, like, high speed game, you know, like, Fortnite or Call of Duty or anything like that. Uh, let's just say that you have to have at least 60 frames per second. Um, and... I kind of wasn't getting that, so it kind of looked bad, and I thought it was a lot of the settings and stuff, and yes, their settings are part of it, but my computer is also not powerful enough. So I just figured out, guys, that I need actually like a streaming computer. So right now I use like the MacBook Pro, it's 2016, it's awesome, love it to death, but yeah, it can't, it just, it's had a meltdown, and uh... Yeah, so that is going to be in the works. However, if you guys know anything about gaming computers and streaming computers, apparently you can have one for gaming and one for streaming. Yeah, I know. Absolutely insane, right? Um, and anyways, they're very expensive. Very, very expensive. So uh, if I don't get the right one, I'm in a bit of trouble. And I'd love to stick with Mac, but it is looking like PC is kind of the go-to for what I'm doing now so it's I'm like I'm in a really weird spot because I don't really know a lot about PCs and there's so many different options to choose from guys like it's I've been trying to spend the last few days like going crazy trying to figure this out trying to find a way to post videos and like I know I haven't really kept you guys in the loop but I was hoping I could kind of solve all this without anybody really noticing and you guys just thinking, oh she just needs a day or so off yeah that hasn't really happened I have like lost so much sleep over this it is crazy I'm trying to find a solution super fast for you guys but basically what I'm trying to say is me streaming the higher intensity games has pretty much made it impossible now for me to stream DMK until I get a couple of things so I've got a temporary solution that I I think that's gonna be in place hopefully in the next couple of days um, so I'll probably use DMK as a little guinea pig to make sure it works um, just cuz yeah well I'll just I'll hope that that's gonna be the best thing and it'll probably put the less strain on the device that I'm gonna need to use for a bit um, until I build myself a uh, streaming computer oh my gosh guys it's like ah, it's like a totally different world for me like I mean gaming is is one thing but knowing all of this other like computer stuff yeah no and there's not really like uh, where I am it's just not a very common thing to be doing what I'm doing I guess or like gaming is a thing but streaming I don't like I don't know anybody and I don't know if there's anybody like around me I've like looked and I've even gone into stores to try and ask and nobody really knows what is going on they're like oh shouldn't a gaming computer be just fine it's like nah, not really so anyways it, I'm just in a bit of a, a tough spot at the moment I'm trying to figure out exactly what I should be getting um, you know for like a good price but again like it's thousands of dollars spent on this and I didn't really have a plan so anyways point being um, I am going to be figuring this out for you guys very very soon and I will be up and live streaming again um, I've already gone ahead guys and uh, just kind of bit it in the butt and just got a capture card so really it's just the actual computer that we're gonna kind of work with is gonna be uh, there'll be a temporary solution one hopefully it'll do what I need it to do for now and then um, as I said I'm looking for a bit of a, a long-term solution uh, hopefully I'll be able to build something in the next like month or whatever to it'll it'll just kind of depend on what I'm able to do and like 
you know, deciding on which one is a lot of work. So anyway, um, yeah, if you guys like have any feedback, you can feel free to like throw it in there. Um, if you guys know a lot about this kind of stuff, um, again, like I've been doing a lot of research, so I feel like I do know quite a bit now, but it may just not be enough yet. So I will, again, I'll keep you guys posted on everything, but that's why I've been a tad bit MIA. So, let's go back to DMK here. Mama Imelda is coming back to the kingdom, and she's a level two. You have my blessing. No conditions. Oh, good, because I don't really need any conditions of, like, no DMK streaming. Could you imagine, guys, would be like, no! (laughs) Dialogue. My family makes the best shoes in the land of the living in the land of the dead. Ooh, yeah, we get to build the attraction. (laughs) That's right. Soon after I crossed the Marigold Bridge, I started our business all over again on that side. That's a lot of work. Yikes. The work is rewarding and it keeps the family together, even in death. That is more than enough blessing as it is. It must be hard to start a business all over again, doing the exact same thing you've been doing your entire life. But it does mean that I must keep track of footwear trends, even today. We Riveras can't afford to lose our touch after all. Uh Oh, do you have any idea what kind of shoes are out there these days? Any idea? Oh my gosh, he is. This is gonna be funny. Hot step in. Send Imelda to observe footwear trends. Ooh, okay. Four hours. Four hours to do that. We get 30 currency. I know it's a side quest, not necessary for me to do, but it doesn't seem like a bad idea. Um, I don't think. But I wanna get, I guess, the Land of the Dead build. So it is 9,000 event currency. Yeah, 9,000, guys. It's a lot. Um, it is going to help, though, to collect Mama Imelda's boot, so that will help to level her up and stuff like that right now and in the future, so it is going to be worth it. Construction time is eight hours, and it produces 35 currency every six hours. Now, it will change over to magic, guys, once the event is over, so yeah, it's literally just around the corner, and yeah, it's going to be fun. Not enough currency! Excuse me, what are you talking about? I don't have enough currency. Ah, okay, guys, might be because I'm not checking my game quite as much. It was because I was streaming intensely, and then now it's because I've been trying to deal with computer stuff 24-7, basically, and yeah, so a little short on currency now. Great, great. I'm not getting a break these these days, guys. I don't know what it is. Just, uh, I guess, not the best luck at the moment, but uh, you know what? Let's Let's just make it happen. I can't believe... I made it. I got 9,010 currency. How lucky is that, actually? So maybe maybe my bad luck streak is over. Over! Oh my gosh. Okay, good. So I've got 10 currency left over. And now we got to start collecting all over again. Because I'm sure Abuelita is, like, at least 10, if not more. We'll find out a little later. But yeah. Holy moly. <sighs> okay, eight hours. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Can it be done, please? Yeah, it will be in a minute. It'll be good. Um, I do love the Halloween decorations. I don't know when they're going to get rid of them. I feel like it's going to be for update. What What are we at now? Like, we're at 34, so it should be like, what, 35, I guess? But uh, I hope they do do some Christmas stuff with the kingdom. I really hope so. They skipped it last year, and I was so, so upset. You have no idea. They have to do it this year. Oh my gosh, I'll go crazy if they don't. All right, so here is Mama Imelda. She's going to have some dialogue here. She's always got her back to us. I don't know why. I don't think she likes me very much. Do those tennis shoes have blinking lights and wheels in their heels? Because you understand, it is taking every ounce of willpower I have not to take this as a personal offense. Oh my gosh. Blinking roller shoes? Oh dear. I always knew it was the right idea for my family to stick with leather shoes. 
Some fashions are timeless, and some are uh, not. Quest complete. Hot step in. I was not alive for much of the 1970s, but my impression is that it was all downhill from there. Uh, you know, I, I think I think we've gone back up. You know, with 2020 approaching, I think we're I think we're going back up again. Just saying, just saying, she doesn't know what she's talking about. But I can imagine that would be quite the shock there. Blinking roller shoes. I mean, we know kids still use those light-up shoes, but roller shoes, like, that's that's not a thing really anymore. I can't even think of the last time I saw a kid going around with roller shoes. That was so, like, what, five, ten years ago? <laughs> oh, my gosh. My kingdom. Get, get with the times here. Get with the fashion. Of course. Why spread word of the show only in Santa Cecilia when we have the whole land of the dead to tell? Ever since De La Cruz was revealed as the swindler he is, my Hector's music has become very popular on this side. We need Hector in the kingdom so we can have dialogue with them. It's going to be so dramatic. I try not to make such a big deal about it at home, though. My husband has a gift, but he does not need a swelled head. Quest complete. The world is listening. When he plays and I sing, though, it's as if nothing else matters. Aww, she still loves him. Even though he's a bit of a handful. <laughs> Alright, so here is the new attraction, guys. Yay! We got it built. It blinks. It looks like light-up shoes without the roller part. But anyway, there's supposed to be a lot of really cool animations. Apparently up here, there's supposed to be some... Um, I'm not quite sure where else, but there is supposed to be some cool animations here. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye out for those. It might be a little bit later, though, once we get the characters leveled up uh, higher. So, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on it, though. You never know when we're going to get animations. You never know. Oh, no, De La Cruz. Much as it pains me to say, I am between living spaces at the moment. There was a slight problem with the lease at my tower. He's getting evicted. Nothing serious, of course. But words were exchanged. One thing led to another, and now I am not allowed back in. And after I left my good shadow jacket up there, too, the one with the extra spangles. Let me guess, he wants to break in and go and get it. Anyway. It's just a temporary setback. I am sure I can straighten everything out. Mm-hmm. Do we believe him, guys? No, I don't really. For rent? Question mark. This is a side quest. Send Ernesto into the land of the dead. Get his apartment back for six hours. How is he going to manage that? I don't I have no idea. Mama Imelda. Bueno, if I am to get word out to the whole of the land of the dead, I will need more posters to do it. Oh, didn't Ernesto take like a whole bunch and hide them? The originals were hand printed by Mia Victoria. That girl always did have an eye for detail work. Can you get her in the kingdom? I bet you we will, guys. Tower challenged character, possibly? Which makes it all the more infuriating that De La Cruz stole them all. Is there no member of my family he won't disrespect? Uh, no. Oh, if I didn't have to ask Victoria for more posters right now, I would ask Pepita to go find her favorite chew toy again. Oh, that's another character we need for Tower Challenge. I would have loved Pepita this event. Second printing. This is an event quest, so we have to do this one. Send Imelda to get more posters from the dead. 
Okay, two hours. Done. I think that means something else. I believe that poster, guys, is part of Hector. That would be the second thing there. Yeah. Awesome. So, Land of the Dead is built. We are doing the next quest here. We are hoping that we are going to be able to unlock Abulita before she officially is released to us. So, fingers crossed, guys. We just need to get through all of the dialogue and all of that funky stuff. Now, again, don't forget side quests are important, um, but not as important as you know, the event quest. So even though those side quests might be fun to do right now, please make sure that you are putting the event quests, so the ones outlined in blue, um, make sure that you are doing those first. Now, again, I, I do know those like actual banners or whatever that we're actually tapping um, uh, the pinatas to try and get that common character token. Uh, that's going to be there the entire event. So you can't like get enough of those. Um, but that being said, that's just going to be there until the end of the event. It'll go away. But it's all the ones with, like, the characters' faces or the one that the little icon for when there's an attraction to be built. Uh, like, just make sure you're doing those, guys, because we really need to make sure that, you know, you do that for the event. Because if you don't, then that means that you may not make it through. So, yeah, that's just kind of where it's sitting. Now, I want to hear from you guys. How are you guys doing in the event? What is your status? Your progress? Who do you have? What level? Um, you know, all that kind of funky stuff. Did you purchase the, the two premium characters? They're both available. I have both. Um, I did do the dialogue, the live streams, all that kind of stuff on the days they were released. So if you guys missed those, you can obviously check it out, especially if you don't have the characters and you kind of want to, you know, see what it would have been like to have them in your kingdom. They're all, they're obviously very beneficial for the event. I've always said that the premium characters, they're worth it. Um, I do know, like, it, you know, they can get expensive, you know, for you guys and stuff. They're expensive for me too, right? Like, it's it's not great and especially now with all of the different stuff like that we also have to purchase if we want to I guess like I haven't done it yet but we'll talk about all the bundles and stuff in a bit but yeah it's it's intense now I did get one of those gold trophies um so yeah that's awesome we're gonna we're gonna have to put this in the kingdom as long as I don't forget to do it because I often forget to put it in but if I forget I'll include it at the start of the next video promise hopefully I'll remember to do it though in a minute here we're opening those some radiant chests right now guys um so i got those from the leaderboard like you can purchase them individually if you want uh for gems and or, sorry with gems and stuff like that uh to get some of these things now really it's just like happiness and character tokens for the most part that you're going to be seeing in here uh but you can get some relics and stuff like that too uh so again that can be oh there we go coco relics so that can be very very useful guys to enchant attractions so if you guys are wondering which one you should enchant especially if you guys don't buy the bundle i'm going to talk about that in just a few secs here because uh, yeah, well, that that's pretty important, I think, for the event. Uh, you've built the Santa Cecilia Market Shop, so enchantment offer unlocked. So 20 common blueprints, 10 Coco Relics, 10 musical posters, and 20 gems for a limited time. So it will be in the shop, so we will find that out in just a sec here. It's making me open my free daily bronze chest, um, which is good because I actually use some magic and some happiness and stuff like that. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas Relic Token. Yay. I love relics. I'm not, I just, yeah. It's just such a waste. It makes chests no fun anymore. No fun at all. It's, it's kind of a shame, to be honest. Like, I really do wish that, uh, the chests were a bit more interesting. I know that they weren't that exciting before with all of the, the decorations and stuff, but they're worse now. <laughs> much, much worse. It's like, oh, I have a chest. Woo. You know? Like, yeah. I don't know. These, these enchantments I don't think should be that difficult uh, just because, like, you know, there are so many to do, and by the time you do them, most of the time they're not even useful anymore. Um, except for the magic part, really, but it's so small, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. 
All right, here we go. Dialogue. Well, I have one more poster now, so that is something. Unfortunately, printing another batch is out of the question. Not that it's Victoria's fault. I will not blame my granddaughter for making things to last. That goes for shoes and posters. Quest complete. Second printing. Besides, if I saw what I thought I just saw, I will not need any new posters anyway. Uh, what did you see? Tell, tell, tell. I do want to know. I thought I imagined it at first, but now I am positive. I saw one of the original posters stuck to the back of an Alebrilla's. Ernesto must have thrown them away under the Marigold Bridge. Spirit guides are always rooting through the trash down there. Count that as one more reason to be angry at that reprobate. But I will retrieve those posters no matter what. Uh Uh-oh, she's mad again. Though, I will probably have to launder them afterwards. Okay. Follow your spirits. Retrieve concert posters. So 15 of them, apparently. Okay. Well, that being said, we have 15 posters to retrieve. I have zero 15. Yeah. I thought I had one, because I thought that quest was to get one. And they usually drop straight away. So now we've got these... What are these? Are these some, like, weird... Hatchimal, chubby, non-flying bird thing. I, I don't, I don't get it. Because what are those supposed to be? And don't tell me you couldn't have made monkeys look like alligators. Really? I don't get it. They're so weird. <laughs> uh, anyways, when you tap them, guys, we gotta clear them. This, I, these are annoying. But okay. So, Sarge, Mama Imelda, Ernesto, Miguel, uh, very, very important. Coco will be if we enchant the land of the dead to a one. Um, actually, Dante will as, as well. Oh, Dante needs to be a four and the enchantment. So, I guess we know what we need to do. Level up Dante. Yeah. All right, that's going to happen. Now, you can get them in Radiant Chests as well, guys, uh, so don't worry, like... You can always purchase, like, those, and you can get them through there. There are a bunch of other quests, guys, but you don't even have some of the stuff here yet. So, yeah. Uh, that'll just have to be for later in the event. So, if you, like, can't quite finish all of these before Abuelita, I may not even. Uh, it doesn't even really matter, to be honest. Uh, you just kind of need to kind of keep plugging away here, and, yeah. We'll see. And you also need a comfy basket, so a cookie and a basket. So Woody, Ham, Jesse, Mickey, Goofy. But you know what? All these guys are useful for actual, like, tokens. Why would they do that? There's so many other characters they could have chosen. Ah! Spread it out, please. Why use the same characters over and over and over and over again to do the, the quests? Now I have to make decisions. (laughs) So, now that the hunt for posters is well underway, our show is sure to have an audience. And that means I have business to take care of. Specifically, a boot with Ernesto de la Cruz's name on it. Yes, we're going to get the Mama emailed a beating quest. I don't know. (laughs) Well... Really, it has the Rivera name on it, because I engraved it on there myself. But I will smack Ernesto with it anyway. It's gonna happen. Come on, I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Cross de la Cruz. Send Imelda to hunt for Ernesto. Okay, event quest, guys. Has to be done. Wow, we have three event quests now. Yeah, all right. So, I'm going to say that the quests with characters at this point are more important. Obviously, Hector is important, guys, but you can purchase him at the end with real money if you choose to. He'll come in a bundle. Um, That's usually how they do the last character. But you won't even be able to do that if you don't get everything else. So, you kind of need to, like, keep going. So, I would say, you know, if you unlock Abulita before she's released, then, like... 
you can go ahead and, and just focus on the Hector tokens, but until then, you can't really. You really just need to get to the point of unlocking uh, uh, Abulita. So, yeah, priorities. I know, I know. But, anyways, we still have some more dialogue with that to do uh, before we actually get to that point. And don't forget to break your pinatas. You can do it every two hours. You can collect up to five, and you will need loads of these anyways. So, yeah, make sure you're actually doing it. And it does give you a bit of extra currency well, which isn't half bad. De La Cruz, come out, you lying, treacherous son of a coyote. Or are you too chicken-hearted to face me without a... Uh-oh. Yee! Watch where you swing that shoe, Carita. It's me. Hector, what are you... Ah, I'm sorry, mi amor. It's just oh, where Ernesto is concerned. I get so carried away. Yeah, she almost whacked him. Imelda, I heard what you are doing, and it's great that you want to protect me. But I think I may have an idea of my own. Quest complete. Cross de la Cruz. Oh? Well, there must be a first time for everything. What is it? Ho oh, ho ho ho! I love it. She's a bit sassy. It's awesome. Oh, I love her so much. She is, like, definitely the best character in this event. Hands down. Like, so good. Ooh, yay, the enchantment's done for the Land of the Dead. So I decided to do that one, guys, because it is going to help me loads. So we'll do that in a sec here. Miguel, I just had this idea. Well, more like I realized something I probably should have before. How am I supposed to put on a real tribute to the Rivera family when I'm the only living Rivera who knows about it? Is this going to be unlocking Abuelita? Maybe? Yeah, I got to get at least somebody else in my family in on this too. But who? Everyone else is working at this time of day. Wait, except for Abuelita. She was going to head into town to get offerings for Coco. I'll find her there. Keep it in the familia. Send Miguel to look around the market. Okay, so I thought that was going to unlock it. Guess not. Guess we still have another quest here. How long is it? Please don't say another, like, 12 hours. Oh. Oh, he's busy. He's busy. Oh, no. All right. I got a couple of things I can do. Yeah, don't make that mistake. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. In the meantime, though, I can do a couple of other things, like level up Mama Imelda, which I know she's going to have to be done, so may as well just bite, bite it in the butt, get it done, and uh, yeah, let's just do it. Normally, my characters are like a higher level by now, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's tricky, this event. The bride is here for Halloween. I already have her. Don't know why I came back up. But you guys can find her in Sapphire Chess for a limited time. Now, there probably will be another way to get her in the future. Just right now, that's kind of like the only way. Now, since I do have everything, there were villains in here too, guys. Like, it's a special chance. Super rare. But yeah, anyway, uh, there is uh, elixirs in there as well. I don't really think that was the best idea, to be honest. Like, yeah. Um, but whatever. So there are some, like, other ones, but the concessions. So this is the one I really, 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 really want that I can't seem to get. I hope all the wishable, like, ones come in a bundle at some point. At least, like, all the Mickey ones. So, like, the Mickey ice cream, that's that one that I really want. There's just the regular Mickey wishable, and then there's also a mini one. Mini's not, like, available right now, but she has been in the past. So, um, I wouldn't mind actually, you know, having all three of those at some point. The only wishable I have, I guess, would be, I guess, Dory. I'm not Dory, sorry, Nemo. I don't even have Dory wishable. Ah! All right, Land of the Dead has reached the first enchantment, so this is going to give us Abuelita's Ears hat. Ooh! So that is why, guys, I would say enchant it. 
and chant it to a one uh, land of the dead because of that. Because we know it's most likely going to be rare. Um, I Both of her character tokens could end up being rare. I don't think it'll be any higher than that. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely need that one. And it is useful, obviously, for Hector's like posters and stuff. So just, just get it done, guys. Just, just get it done. Um, concert event poster. Okay, so there's only three characters that can actually clear them, guys. Coco, Mama Imelda, and Miguel. So, yeah, pretty much you need to have one of those guys available, like, to clear these things. Um, but, yeah. Uh, it's it's going to get difficult making decisions with which quest, though. But I'm just noticing something, guys. When I'm in, like, my quest on the side, it's saying... 15 and it said I had none and then when I go specifically to Hector it said uh I think it said one of 16 which would make more sense because technically I should have the drop there I don't really get it oh, I'm gonna have to check that out in a sec here Ooh, the bride oh my god she's so spooky guys I love it Ooh, I think we went to a bit of an ultra zoom right now not like ultra ultra zoom, but we definitely are nice and zoomed in. Oh my gosh. She's so cool. She is like literally the coolest. It's insane. Like I love her in my kingdom. She's not what I expected, but that's I think what I love about her. There she is again. Oh, what a shot. What a shot of her. Oh, it's so good, and it's, it's more, like, I'm not even, like, following her with the camera. The camera's just doing it on its own, just because, like, I sent her on the quest, so it'll always follow the character, so this is perfect. Wow, I love it. I just love it, guys. It's hard when she does it with her back turned, but you can't, like, I can sort of see uh, different, like, angles and stuff of her quests, but, yeah. I can hardly wait to see what some of her other quests are going to be. Like, she's, she's got to have more than just this this one in terms of animation. So, yeah, I guess we got to keep leveling her up. But first, we have to bring back Pascal. His welcome screen's super cute. You couldn't have asked for better for him. Pascal is now level six. He just wants the high five. Just do it. Just do it. Decorate for Halloween. So the bundle's still there, guys. Cost real money. I'm not doing it. I already have all the stuff. But you guys can do it if you guys are missing some of this and you want, like, to spookify your kingdom. Spookify? I don't, I don't think that's a word. But anyways, I made it up. I made it up. So, it, uh, yeah, it's a good bundle, I think. Like, if you're looking for some spooky decorations and stuff and you don't want to buy the legendary chest, like, you know, I do think it's, it's smart. Now, there are, like... I'd say if you're missing more of the collection, I would say just go and actually purchase the care, like the actual chest pack bundle, and then that way you can get the chance of decorations and characters, concessions, all that kind of fun stuff. But again, it is an option, guys, if you guys are missing something, you're like, ooh, I really want that. So it's kind of up to you. But again, like if you're missing characters and stuff, or attractions even, I would say, yeah, just buy the bundle. Like, the chest bundle, I mean. <laughs> Mama Imelda is a now a level three. I do this for my family. Do not forget that. We know. Family is very important. Like Stitch says, Ohana means family, and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. I think it's the first time I've literally done that in my normal voice and not in his. Okay, I gotta do it in his. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Yeah, Stitch. We miss Stitch. We love Stitch. He's maxed out in my kingdom, so not really any dialogue to do. So, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. We'll have to wait till he's used as a secondary storyline or in the tower challenge. Yeah, so it's going to be a while. Mommy emailed us pretty fast. Considering she's dead. And has no ligaments holding her together yeah pretty pretty fast pretty fast oh happiness it's ruining my chances of collecting that's okay 
It's just, I mean, I'll have to check my kingdom again. Do, do, do. Magic. Magic. Oh, I still have to do that quest with Miguel. I almost forgot. Yikes. Okay, so he's got to go out on that. Um, and then, I think I, since I leveled... Oh, I guess I need to do Dante, right? Yeah, I did say I needed to do Dante. So Dante needs to be done to a four. I've done the enchantment of the land of the dead. So that's the one I would choose, guys, right now. If you guys can only do one attraction. I know the Santa Cecilia market, like, might be helpful if you guys are, like, a baby kingdom. I would say if you guys are, like, not sure if you're going to make it to land of the dead, then I would definitely say just kind of, like you know, go with the, the Santa Cecilia, but if you guys are, like, doing well in the event and stuff, go for the Land of the Dead. I don't know if I would wait for the next attraction. I think it's just, like, you know, we're kind of approaching the end here. We need to kind of keep things moving, so the best way to do that is to choose the Land of the Dead, and then if you have some extra stuff or you decide you want the bundle, then you can purchase, um, Oh, which I almost forgot we have to take a look at still. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so if you guys are thinking, like, oh, maybe later I'll invest in that, like, relics and all that kind of bundle, then, yeah, like, go ahead and do that. But, again, if you're not going to do it right away, then it's definitely more important land of the dead. Miguel! Ah, looks like I just missed her. The guy at the flower shop said she was just here, too. She did get Coco a really nice offering, though. My great-grandma always liked roses. Anyway, Abuelita can't have gotten that far, and I can run pretty fast, so I think I can catch up with her, too. Quest complete. Keep it in the familia. Abuelita can be really fast sometimes, but it's usually when I'm in trouble and she's chasing me. That's true. Yeah, especially when she gets that shoe off. Look out! You can see where Mama Imelda comes in. <laughs> Abuelita, where are you? I, uh, I promise I didn't do anything bad, okay? I just want to talk to you for normal reasons. Welcome a grandmother. This is an event quest. Send. Oh, sorry, not send. Welcome Abuelita. I was like, send Abuelita to you. I was like, it does not say that. <laughs> okay, so I've done it with two days, six hours to spare. And I should have had this up two days ago. But guys, that computer trouble. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't do it. Sorry. So we have to wait. We have to wait um, to find out what we need for her. And there's been no leaks this event, guys. They've shut down all of our sources to get leaks on what characters to do. So it's, like, literally me just guessing at this point um, based off of, like, old events and stuff. So hopefully I'll get some right for Abuelita like I have with the other ones. Dante is now level four. And barking noises. Woof, woof, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. Go, Dante, go. I still wish he looked like the Alabrias. I still wish that. I still wish it. He just, he, he needs a quest. I hope they give him one where he changes colors and stuff and get some wings because, yeah, I haven't noticed it though yet. I mean, maybe you guys have seen it. If you have, like, let me know. But, and, like, let me know what the quest is and how long it is. But, yeah, I haven't seen anything of the sort just yet. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of game plan for that a little bit later. Like, maybe that's his special quest when he's, like, out of 10. Because sometimes, like, out of 10, guys, they have some, like, really awesome things. Like, Ariel and Flounder are doing something cool in my kingdom right now. Sebastian and King Trine, but they need to be, like, level 10 for these things. Usually for the cool stuff. Um, and that can even go for, like, princesses in the dressing room. Not all of them need to be a 10, but most of them. Like, I'd say, like, generally, you'll want to have them at a 10. For that the bride Ooh, six minutes there we go guys as promised i did say in my next video i was gonna make sure i uh leveled her up so you guys can see the welcome screen so there we go six minutes of my time and then we can go ahead and yeah bring her into the kingdom again Oh my gosh. I, I think somebody's told me during my live stream that she's supposed to have dialogue at a three. So we could be getting some dialogue from her. That would be sweet. 
I wonder if they're gonna add more characters. They must be planning to, like, next year or something. Because they wouldn't just add one character and then never expand on the collection, right? But this collection's kind of unique, so I wonder what they're gonna do for it. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see, because there's, like, obviously lots of stuff like that you just don't know. Um... But yeah, it's 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 a little bit it's a little bit of a weird one for sure. Absolutely. All right, let's bring her back. Let's bring her back. Woo! Guys, I just love it. I love her welcome screen. So intense. And I love the picture frame thing. It's so like Harry Potter. <laughs> the bride is now level 3 in sickness and in wealth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not health, wealth. Oh my gosh. I love it. What is what is this? What is this? She's crazy. She's so evil and yeah, dead and scary and yeah. <laughs> no more dialogue though. What is going on? No more other quest appearances really. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, this is so funny, guys. Like, it's literally the funniest thing. In sickness and in wealth. Remember, she is looking for suitors in my kingdom. I don't think, I don't think the hyenas are gonna quite do it. But, uh, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. In sickness and in wealth. Can't believe she just said that. Like... Even if that was on her mind, the fact she said that out loud, like, so that I had to read that, it's just like, oh, it's like another page of, like, crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, here's a character that's maybe not so crazy. Unless he's talking about my happiness in the kingdom, but, you know, we're, we're trying to forgive him for that. Miguel Rivera is now level six. Que padre! Woo! I don't know. I don't speak Spanish, guys, so I just literally... I'm trying with the pronunciations, but if I'm a bit off, I do apologize about that. Um, yeah. Don't don't quite have the whole Spanish thing. I wasn't taught. Nobody taught me in school. It wasn't necessary. Wasn't, wasn't a requirement. Was not a requirement, so... Never really had to learn a single word. But that's okay. Anyways, Abuelita. Abuelita is going to be coming here in like, yeah, how many minutes? Should be like one minute, guys. And then we're going to be able to start. Look, very short countdown because I'm probably going to get distracted like I usually do and miss most of it. But that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll still make up a countdown here. Whew, okay, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing, guys, before him, I'm going to predict that the character tokens for Abuelita are both going to be rare. Because we've seen, like, a, like a lot with the uncommons and stuff. And at this point in the event, like, we know that the character token drops from the, for the characters. They do get harder. So I'm thinking they should both be rare. I'm hoping the ears head isn't, isn't uh, epic. But, yeah, I guess we'll have to find out. Fingers crossed! We'll have to we'll have to wait though. It won't tell us like straight off the bat. We'll have to actually like go and find an attraction or a character or something that is gonna collect. Um, and then it will tell us whether it's rare or not. So yeah, we might have to actually check the new attraction that will be unlocked. Actually, there's gonna be a new attraction unlocked today. Oh my gosh. Did you guys buy it? Should I buy it? I usually buy it, but I don't have enough gems for it, so I'd have to spend real money. Ah, decisions. Three, two, one. Here she is. Yeah, I almost missed the countdown. I did miss the countdown. Face realities. Face facts. Face facts. <laughs> All right, so we got 11 days. Two hours left of the event. We still have uh, Abuelita and Hector to bring in. And yeah, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. Okay, Abuelita's sandal, guys. Here we go. So we've got a Mama Coco, a wondrous place, six hours. Goofy, work as a handyman, six hours. We've got Mama Imelda, spending time with Pepita, six hours. And I got that one right. Yes. One prediction. Um, Bo Peep, visit Space Sheep, eight hours. Prince Charming, accepting visitors, eight hours. Dante, practicing flight, 12 hours. Then we also have Miguel, play new songs for four, for example. We need the musical celebration, so... 
that's gonna be that premium attraction guys should be 150 gems uh just based off of what they did for princess and the frog earlier this year with tiana's palace um that's sort of what happened now again there is like some other things here like you know that will be for later once she's like welcomed into the kingdom and stuff but for now this is just you know, to get to get her in here. So we got the parade float. We got Coco, Ernesto, Miguel, Land of the Dead, um, Ham. Oh wow, I got like three right on this one. Uh, Woody looking at space toys. Yeah, and then I, I think it's gonna go back again to needing oh, the new uh, new attraction today. The musical celebration. Ooh, you know what? I kind of want to wait, guys, and see. What if I don't get it? Oh my gosh. If I don't get it today, then that could mean that if I can get my streaming stuff up and organized in like 24 hours, then I could just be patient and try and wait and build it for you guys or like with you guys, I mean, during a stream. Ooh, I guess incentive for me to get my temporary computer set up sorted so I can stream. Ah. I need to stream, guys. I miss it. I miss chatting with you guys, having a good time. Yeah. I, I need I need streaming back in my life. I feel like I've been going through withdrawal. It's not even like gaming withdrawal. It's just like streaming withdrawal. It's so much fun. I don't know why I love it so much. I just do. Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, it's probably because you guys are just so amazing. All my mini kingdomers are so amazing. I love all of you guys. All right, so today's calendar award, 10 happiness. I actually needed it, so yay. Ruby chest tomorrow, special chance rewards. You're probably not gonna get these, but Ernesto de la Cruz statue. We've also got the musical notebush. I don't know why these are special chance. They just shouldn't be, but they are, and yeah, I don't know. I was really lucky, guys, and got both of the concessions. I don't know how it's possible, but I did. Um, now, again, the chest, like, I would say tomorrow, if there's going to be, like, a bundle for that, then maybe I'll buy it, but we'll, we'll have to kind of wait and see. If that's the case, then I'm, I might do that then in the stream as well, so, yeah. We've built the Land of the Dead. Enchantment offer unlocked. Okay, so... Oh, oh, here's that bundle thing. 20 common blueprints, 10 cocoa relics, 10 musical posters, and 20 gems. So in the shop, guys, um, we're going to take a look at how much that's going to cost us. Ooh, what's this? Event currency bundle? Ooh, this must be new. I didn't notice this before. 250 gems plus 15,000 event currency. $13.99 in my, in my currency. It'll depend on where you are in the world, but... Okay, so $13.99, though, if you just bought the gems straight out, you only get 240 gems. So technically, guys, this is the best, like, you can do. Like, if you're thinking about getting some gems and you're thinking about spending less than $20, then I would say that that's really good because you'll get a few extra gems and currency to help you with the event. So if you're going to spend it, then, yeah, that's, that's the one to do. Um, so we've got two bundles now, actually, for the enchantments. The Santa Cecilia, and we've got the Land of the Dead. So there might be a third one, actually. Five forty nine for each of those, eh? Jeez. Whew. Okay. Okay. And don't forget tax, guys, because we still get taxed with with uh, our app purchases. You know, it's something I never really was like super paying attention to before. I was just always like, oh, I must have calculated it wrong, but. Yeah, I always forget that there's tax, like, with everything, including, like, app purchases. <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe it's kind of dumb that I just didn't never really realized it. Like, I've realized it, like, this year, but I mean, um, like, I don't think I did really last year. <laughs> I was just buying things. I was like, oh, that, that makes sense why things were, like, way higher than I thought. Because, yeah, just, I wasn't thinking. Abuelita has been unlocked and more. So guys, the next attraction, which is the final attraction, is uh, unlocked now. So basically we can't buy it. We can't, we can't quite get it yet. Um, but that being 
said, we will um, be able to build it when we get Abuelita and do the quest. Now, the musical celebration bundle, guys, $6.99. You're going to get the musical celebration attraction uh, and then a bunch of additional stuff here. So this costs real money, $6.99, or you can get it with gems. I believe it's $150. I will confirm that. Um, but if you guys go into your featured section here um, in your game, that's sort of where you're going to be able to see that. Um, but yeah, so things, things are, things are heating up here. So, uh, let's check. Event, okay, musical celebration. So 150 gems, I was right. All right, so I don't have that, so I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll just do that, save my money a bit for my computer stuff, capture cards, you know, all my big purchases I've had to make. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's just a lot. Um, but I don't have the gems, because I spent it on that sapphire chest for the bride. Ah, okay. Bundle's gonna be my only option. So maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I just, I need, I need to think, guys. It's, it's nothing to do with, like, not me not wanting to get it. Like, it's just, I, yeah, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. If I can stream it, I'll stream it. If not, then, yeah, I'll just have to, to nip it in the butt and do it. Now, both character tokens here, as you guys can see, are rare. So there we go. There we go. And don't forget, the premium one, guys, is an instant build. So you, like, literally need to make sure you have room for it before you just go and, like, buy it, right? So just, like, kind of make sure you're thinking about those things. Because uh, sometimes, like, there are things that you may not think about straight away, right? But you kind of need to. So um, make sure you have your section of land organized. I always tell you guys to do that before the event. But I realize, like, magic is super important right now with the kingdom and thrill zone levels and all of that. And, like, I'm literally ruining my thrill zone level because I decided to put Coco in and around there. But, like, I mean, it's going to happen regardless eventually everywhere in the kingdom just because, like... California Screaming Thrill Zone is not the only thrill zone we're getting. We're getting all of the areas. So we can make our kingdom look pretty and perfect and everything. But then when there's an event, they don't give us enough land to like, you know, really not do what we have to do. It's like empty it. So unless you're like a really small kingdom, that'll be the only time, right? Where you'll have more land, not enough attractions and stuff. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really tricky spot, I think, at this point, guys. I probably shouldn't have put it in around like California Screaming if I wanted to keep the thrill zone. But like, I don't really care about it that much, to be honest. So that's why I did that. But if you guys are like really sensitive about it, don't go removing what you have going, right? Like put it in and around Space Mountain for now or Big Thunder Mountain or um, even it's a small world. If you guys have unlocked like the Peter Pan collection and stuff like that and Dumbo, you'll have that other land that like isn't going to be probably zoned, like thrill zoned for, I don't know, at this rate of this game, probably like two, three years. Uh, there's so much land they've been holding on to. It's just like, I don't get what they're waiting for. There's got to be some sort of big plan for it. But the thing is, it's just like, if we're going to get more attractions and stuff like that, like, where is the room? We don't need more stuff. We just need more land. And I know they keep saying, oh, like, it'll come, it'll come. We're doing all this other stuff. But, like, really, we don't need this other stuff. We need land. Face reality. You got. It's not even like they need to, to design it or something like that, right? Like, if they did, I would, like, be totally understanding to this. But they're just, like, literally holding on to, like, cursed land. And there's, like, what is it? Like, over 10 slots? I think it's, like, 15 or something. That th I can't remember exactly. I could count, but I'll, I'll do that maybe during my life stream but there's like definitely over 10 slots of land they can unlock like just give us one like keep us happy you haven't given us land and like i don't even know how long i can't even remember the last time they gave us land do you guys remember i feel like it was like with dumbo back in march yeah i feel like that was the last time we got land i know they did like some redesigning of um in and around space mountain and stuff and that was very helpful but that's not really giving us land, right? It's like, it's just, they had to change that, guys, to prepare for the thrill zone. So it really had nothing to do with giving us more land. It was just to, for their benefit. So I, I don't really consider that as like really giving us a slot of land. So I don't know. Anyway, it, it needs to happen here. Uh, 
But anyway, that's enough about land. I am hoping that we do get some, hopefully in the new year. I don't know if it's coming 2019, guys. It doesn't sound like it. But if we can get some at the beginning of 2020, I would be extremely happy. I think all of us would. Because, you know what? I think most of us do have, like, attractions and concessions, decorations, whatever, that are just sitting in storage. And they have no place to go. We really, they need a home, you know? Like, they, they really, really do. So I, uh, I don't know. We we need we need it to happen. The enchanting. Oh wait, enchanting attraction bundle. Okay. Uh, oh, for the musical celebration. Oh, there there's the bundle we saw. I was like, what? Where you have two bundles? No, no. So this is the one I showed you guys in the shop already. All right. So we just got basically like the little notification poster about it. So yeah, it does. You know what the thing is though is it does help with. Hector, it does help with uh, Mama Coco and Abuelita. So, I mean, the attraction is going to be worth it. I do believe it's pretty big, but I think it is going to probably have some cool animations that we're going to be able to, like, you know, see in our kingdoms a little bit later once characters are, like, leveled up nice and high and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be really worth it, but I do really want to try and live stream this if I can maybe tomorrow. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on Instagram about that. I'll try and make sure that... I'm keeping you guys still up to date on there. Um, again, just with everything, it's been so frustrating the last, like, few days that I just literally haven't been able to, like, do my videos and streaming or anything. It's been, it's been hard. It's been really hard. So, I'm hoping to be, like, totally back up and running, though, hopefully in the next couple of days. Even if I can't work, like, things at, like, 100% capacity, at least I'll still be able to do stuff for you guys. And, like, quality, I'm hoping, will be okay um, but until I can, like you know obviously get a new computer and yeah <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a bit but you know we got I gotta work with what I got right now so hopefully that will produce uh, half decent content until then but yeah anyway keeping you guys up to date on my life yeah cuz uh, Steffi's on the go here all the time and things need things need to keep getting done and uh, computer computer shopping building one is is definitely up there on the list now yeah, it's up there on the list. So let's find out, guys. I'm sending characters out. So before we wrap everything up, I do want to check to see how good I was with collecting from my first set of drops. Now, I know it may not be as great as having all the leaks and stuff, but I think I had a pretty good guess, at least for her ears hats. I noticed, like, I guessed a lot of the things right. So I'm thinking that it might be good. Like, we, we might have, like... I don't know, at least one of each. I know they're rare, so the drop is, like, gonna be a little bit trickier, but, um, yeah. I really wanna see how we did. It's gonna be good. Obviously, guys, let me know where you guys are in the event, what your progress is on Abulita, if you guys are watching this, a little bit later. Whether you guys have found a good spot in your kingdoms, obviously, to put the new, um, attraction, stuff like that, if you guys purchased it for gems or in the bundle. Again, if you did the bundle, you'll be able to enchant it straight away, so that is, again, that's gonna be useful, but it just kind of depends on, uh, your gem situation in your kingdom and whether you thought the bundle was gonna be, like, more of a profit to you um but yeah i i still i still wish that the bundles didn't come with all this enchanting stuff during events like if they want to do it after well you know what that's that's their choice but realistically like you know during events it's just kind of dumb it, it's just it literally gives certain people advantages that are not really fair like the character ones the premiums like i get it but I don't know. The enchanting during an event is just kind of mean. Like, I don't really know any other way to put it. It's just mean. Yeah. I'm not really doing it this event. I've done one, but, like, I didn't purchase any bundles. That was just from getting it from chests and stuff that, like, you know, I got in my game. So, like, I haven't done anything, like, unusual or anything with this event. I'm kind of trying to stick with the old style as much as I can just because, yeah, otherwise... Things add up pretty quickly with all these bundles. You know, like $13.99 here, six whatever there. It's yeah, it's crazy. So, alright, so we have none of her sandals, but we do have two of her ears hats. So I think I think that's relatively good, guys, considering they're rare drops on first go. So I'm happy, very, very happy. Um, 
yeah, hopefully you guys had just as much luck with your own predictions and guesses there. Now, the one thing I'm still working on, which I think this might be the only thing I'm a little bit more behind than usual, is the concert event posters for Hector. Uh, the ear tags aren't unlocked yet. That is going to be like once we bring in Evolita, do some quests and all that, and obviously the attraction and stuff like that. But I think overall, I think um, I'm doing okay. Again, I'm a little behind on the posters, but it's nothing that I can't still catch up on. Once I get Abuelita in here, yeah, because she's she's kind of the priority for me uh, right now. But yeah, hopefully you guys are good with that. Eleven thousand currency. Ah, all right. Well, that that's that's something I'm I'm gonna have to keep saving up. I just realized it's eleven thousand currency. Whew. All right. I, I, I got some work to do here, guys, so I better get going and get started. I'm going to publish this video, though, first. Make sure my thumbnail is all nice and pretty and get it up for you guys. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed this very long video. I know it's a pro like progress report from the last couple of days, all the dialogue and stuff, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a big Mickey thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new, and of course, hit that bell for post notifications. And uh, I look forward to reading all you guys' comments in the comment section below. Bye!